What do the Princess Royal, Steve Cram, Bill Bryson and John Simpson all have in common? No, not that. They're all chancellors of universities. It's not uncommon for well-known folk to become chancellors. There's something of a dispute at the University of Cardiff right now over an attempt to appoint Griff Rees jones as chancellor. He was born in Cardiff and, as it happens, has already had his photo taken in the chancellor's robes and he's given interviews on an embargoed basis about his pleasure at being offered the role. But Cardiff University Court has refused the appointment because the existing Chancellor, Sir Martin Evans, was apparently not given the chance to be reappointed. Professor Brian Ford wrote that Sir Martin was a pioneer of stem cell research and a Nobel laureate. To say that this distinguished academic has been peremptorily replaced by a comedian known to a restricted British TV audience runs the risk of showing us as parochial and out of the league of major universities. Well, Professor Brian Ford, who made those comments, is live on PM, as is Seth Tevo, who, as a student, led the campaign for Brian Blessed to be elected Chancellor of the University of Cambridge. Uh, Brian Ford, uh, first of all, it, it's not a problem with Griff Rees jones uh, himself, is it? No, it isn't. Uh, had he been the Chancellor already, and somebody wanted to sort of slide in Sir Martin Evans by a sleight of hand and a change of the rules, then there would have been just an uproar. It was a, a protest against procedure. It wasn't a protest against Griff. But there is a problem in your mind, as I understand it, with perhaps celebrity, for want of a better word, celebrity chancellors. Look here, I don't have a problem in my mind. Can't be this old and still have problems. <laughs> let, let me say, there is an interesting cultural thing here. You know, great grand universities always have great grand chancellors. And the sort of Johnny-come-lately smaller universities tend not to. For example, Leeds has got Lord Bragg, the adenoidal broadcaster. Leeds Trinity, it's Gabby Logan. Liverpool has got Lord Owen. Liverpool, John Moores, the late comer, is Brian May. Uh, now, I mean, we know that Brian May has a tremendous head for heights, so if they ever get a leaky roof, he could nip up there and check it. But you see, in Cardiff, we now have Sir Martin Evans, but there's also Cardiff Metropolitan University, whose Chancellor is Derek Morgan. I've no idea who Derek Morgan is. So you think it's going to reflect badly on you? I mean, I see, I see a quote from you that, that although you think Griff Freese jones is amusing, not a single person in your discussions has seen any relevance of his admirable, admirable qualities to the position of Chancellor. Well, that's because most of the people on the court are rather old, and, and they tend to mutter to themselves into their sherry, Griff Freese jones good Lord, no, we wouldn't want him. I, I'm nothing against him in person, but Cardiff has been aiming for a long time, although I'm now based in Cambridge, and I have been for 25 years, but, but Cardiff that I get to quite often, has a, a raised international profile. And if someone is asked to put millions of yuan from China into Cardiff University, they're much more likely to do so if they know it's a Nobel Prize winner who gave us stem cells rather than someone who is a comedian not known outside the shores of the UK. Well, let me bring in Seth at this point. Why did you get Brian Blessed on board? Um, it really comes from an appreciation of what it is the Chancellor's role is. They are a figurehead for the university. They are the front for the university. Now, a good university like Cardiff isn't lacking in distinguished academics. Um, it isn't lacking even in people, well, certainly <laughs> Brian Ford speaking from Cambridge knows how many Nobel Prize winners they have. On the other hand, they are lacking in star power. And if they're serious about fundraising, which is increasingly becoming a central part of a chancellor's job, actually having the ability to call on a chancellor like that is a fantastic resource for a university. What about that, Brian Ford? Well, I, I mean, I, I love the idea. When it was 2011, wasn't it, when you had your campaign yeah, right. for a Brian Blessed? And I thought, oh, wouldn't it be brilliant if he won? But remember, the outgoing Chancellor had been uh, His Royal Highness the Duke of Edinburgh. And uh, one has to ask, who casts most clout on the international stage? You've got to remember that universities, when I were a lad, universities were academic institutions mm. that, that were aimed at giving people a broad and, and educational understanding of the world. Nowadays, they are are industries designed to suck money out of hapless youths. <laughs> the reason people go to university is because it's the most painless way there is of leaving home. Hmm. Uh, if you just tell your parents you're going to leave and get a bed and breakfast somewhere, they're, they're horrified. If they're going to go to university, nobody minds. Then these kids end up in huge debt to the universities, which are really money-grabbing machines to get funds out of hapless and rather ignorant grant-giving committees. Now, they have become... I'm glad you advertised this to your students I, I, so well. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm glad that they have become 
become more financially oriented. Mm. But you see, I'm not sure Brian Blessed would have actually brought in the pounds, and at the end of the day, that's what Cambridge wants. Well, I mean, you, you could put forward any candidate of your own. I'd have been interested to see who you'd have nominated in return, and this isn't really to rehash over an old debate on that. But looking at, actually, how many people Cambridge can deploy looking at how many people Cardiff can deploy, um, I think that actually Martin Evans, wonderfully distinguished scientist that he is, could just as easily uh, put forward a, a very convincing appeal whether or not he was Chancellor. Griff Rees jones who doesn't really have an affiliation, I mean, this is becoming something of a Cambridge alumni debate, because Griff Rees jones yeah. of course, is a, uh, is a Cambridge alumnus, not a Cardiff alumnus. Um, Giving him that link to the university, giving him that platform, is arguably a very canny move. I find it, respect. I find it curious and really very appropriate that Griff Rees Jones is most famous for "It'll be all right on the night when it wasn't and it won't be." Oh, yes. well, he did a very good double act. Perhaps you could share the job with Martin. Well, he did half of a very good double act. I mean, I, <laughs> I actually don't think he's done anything terribly funny in the last ten, fifteen years, ever since the car adverts moved in. But nonetheless. <laughs> I'm I, saying I, nothing whatever on that, I think. Well, you but, seem to be agreed on being horrible to Griff Rees jones which I think is very unfortunate. No, Nelson, I said I wasn't going to say anything. Don't well, don't put words into my mouth, young man. And, and I wish him well, despite not thinking very much of his comedy. But nobody was against him. It was just against no, the way in which he was being slid in by the regular... Uh, routine of the university being spun and used for covert purposes. That's what court didn't like, and that's what court is there for. Court has teeth. Council doesn't. Thank you both, Professor Brian Ford and Seth Tavo, who was uh, involved in uh, trying to get Brian Blessed into uh, something new.